Hello everybody, welcome to Street Smart Investing. I'm Albert, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about special dividend stocks and the companies that have them. Uh, they have been post. well most of them are going to be posted for this year, but I actually have a few companies that, oh, excuse me, that have posted uh, previous years as well. So I'm just going to go through... A bunch of these companies they have like 40 companies um, I'm just gonna ride right through them so let's begin with the first one the first one I have is first Keystone so basically I want to say this first and foremost what I notice about a lot of these stocks with these special dividends they tend to be very very cheap very very inactive and um i don't know what else i can say they're just they they're just inactive and they're just trash it's like a trap it's like a bait and switch pretty much it's it's like they'll give a one time payment for the dividend but then the other thing too is that it's an over the counter market meaning meaning it's like you don't you don't buy your stock through a broker you buy it directly from the person so you you really can't borrow shares or or anything like that so what i'm saying is there's just less activity for the stock. So especially when it's all over the counter, OTC, which is a lot of dividend stocks, the, the a lot of special dividend stocks have that. And I think that's uh, a trap. I would call that one of those value traps because they, they you could see the dividend history and they'll show you like that one-time payment for the year, maybe twice a year or whatever the case may be. Usually it's once. And if you're lucky enough, maybe twice a year. And that's with no dividends. Just, I mean, a one-time payment for the year. And it'll be pretty big. And then... It seems... Oh, gotta stop yawning. It seems pretty interesting, but it's just a catch, pretty much. That's It's like a big catch. Because... um. For people who don't know any better, they just see that dividend and they're like, "Oh wow, it's the, the it's cheap." Um, they don't look at the market cap. They don't look at the 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 range. Yeah, the stock it's just it looks very inactive. It's way too cheap. Um, it's over the counter. It's just it's awful, really. If you don't do your homework or if you know nothing about the stock, and then the worst case scenario is if. It's not an American company, which makes it even worse. So you can look at these companies and then all of a sudden you think it's good and it's really not. So. And then the funny thing is. um, The sector as well plays a big part because I notice a lot of these special dividend companies, they're either banks. Insurance companies, I've seen a few. Um, the health care, not too much, but I've seen a lot of financials with, uh, banks or, or asset, a few asset managers and definitely insurance companies and the likes. So yeah, it's just, it's frustrating if you don't do your homework. So here I am to expose all these crappy companies, and especially when they're over the counter, those are the worst. So basically, you're gonna lose your money. They're not even worth it, really. These are just non stable companies. So, again, let me start with the first one and let me just show you what I'm talking about. See how it's flat? It goes up and it's flat. That's the one year. Now, let's look at the five year for this stock, FKYS. I don't even think I'm going to use this because it's like, it's like, it's not even worth it because I just, I would, I, like the chart doesn't even matter at this point. 
showing you, I mean, going into the chart at depth, you know, going deep, deep diving into the chart, it doesn't really help because the stock itself is trash. So let me tell you, I mean, I wish I could show you guys on my phone. This is what frustrates me actually. And then see, I got no numbers. This is like, I just, I don't like the info presented this way. Like I always say, even though it's on a bigger screen, but yeah, it's just, yeah, the, the 2020 numbers went up, but look at how much debt, it's almost the assets as much as the debt. So they just cancel each other out, which is awful. So let's look at the um, special dividends. This is what you guys are here for, and this is what I'm showing you guys. So as you can see here, they paid out twice a year. They paid out in February, and they paid out in, let me see, so May, June, July, August. In August, they paid out, and it's only a penny. So as you can see, they paid out twice in August. So basically an extra penny, whoop de doo it's not much. Uh, but again, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. A lot of, this is, this is what I'm getting at. A lot of these special dividend companies, they're just over the counter and they're not even worth it if you don't know any better. So let's look at it here. I just want, I'm curious to see what they say, FKYS. So there's a bunch of these companies and I'm just gonna steamroll right through them. It says high growth potential and strong operations. Yeah, I don't think so. Overvalued stock and underperforming the market. I don't know why it says that. I disagree with that. And I disagree with that. Because they're high in debt. So this stock is just awful. I don't know how. A stock is so high in debt and they call it, it has, they, they're going to say it has strong operations. So um, this is why I use um, Webull because they're pretty accurate. Um, this is pretty accurate though. Like I said, that is true. OTC markets, um, nothing is shared uh, for this stock. So maybe that's why it's like that because um, it could have been like that last year and then hasn't changed. And they haven't updated the uh, the summary for this. So this is why it probably looks like that. But um, yeah, I, I don't agree with any of this. I don't agree with any of this. It's just, yeah, it's awful. But I, again, I'm curious just to see what it, what it says. So that's why I put it on there. So uh, yeah, let's just keep going for these companies. I'm going to show you all these companies. That apparently that uh, they're supposedly really good because of the special dividend. But um, yeah, it's because of that stimulus. That's why. Next up, I have G B G F V. I'm just chart is awful. I'll just show you the five year chart. You see, it went up to thirty dollars, but it's nothing. And that's pretty much it. As you can see here, special dividend, see, in May, they gave you a dollar for that. And they paid out in March as well. They paid out uh, so far a total of three times so far. They're, they're going for a fourth time. So, what does this company do? They are miscellaneous special retailers, corporate actions. Uh, let's look at the financials for a little bit. So revenues have gone up. Net income. Not too bad, not too bad. So the one year is not too bad. No, the volume ain't too bad. So th this is one of the, the fewest companies that's actually pretty decent. Uh, the volume, they have some volume. So that shows that they're active in having buys and sellers. So it does have some liquidity. Uh, the range is pretty decent. 52 week low and 52 week high. I think honestly, if you bought a stock, right? And you don't know what the hell you've done at all. You have like 
no knowledge or no experience in, in what you're doing, um, the best way to find out to, to know if you want to sell a stock, if the P.E. ratio keeps going down, and also uh, a second critical measure to actually see that is if the volume and the average volume is going down. If the average volume every three months is going down, and I think quarterly is a fair amount of time, even for short and long term, after three months and the, the, the volume is, is below the three month average, then yeah, it's time to take a look and start thinking about um selling the stock. Unless, you know, you see some potential that they're increasing revenue and profits or there has to be just something positive, a few things positive about the company. But if everything looks negative and everything's just off and there's so many check boxes and everything, all the numbers just look bad, then yeah, I just dump it. But um, this stock looks okay. So I think I would recommend this as a watch list for a special dividend uh, paying company. And this is like one of the few ones. So let's look this up on here, BG. What is it? SV? No, VF, I think. BG, FV. Sorry, FV. I want to see what it says, and I'll tell you if I agree with it. So, whoa, people are pessimistic about it. Fair growth. Fairly priced, same return as the market, strong operations, pessimistic. Oh, people are share, sharing about this. It has been viewed 104 times. Some people are buying hold and half the other half are not sharing. I'm not sh I, I haven't logged in, so I can't really share some information. But this is why I'm sharing it on my... Yeah, this is why I'm sharing it on my channel. Um, I would agree with this. I would definitely agree with all of this. So next up on the list. CVR. I want to see if... Um, Yeah, you see how flat that is? Even for the year, it's so flat. So, did they pay? I mean, some of these companies, um, I thought they had a special dividend. And if they did, they, pay a few, they paid a few years ago. So, I might throw in one or two companies that didn't pay the special dividend. So, I apologize in advance. So, yeah, this was a company that... Did pay in 2019, and they haven't paid since. But let's look at it anyway. Let's look at the analysis. I'm just going to... So they do industrial machinery and equipment. Let's do the financials. Again, they don't show me information because it sucks on the computer. It's better on the phone version. So I'm not even going to look at that. Let's look at the... Analysis. Okay, so nothing on that as well. Any news? Yeah, so that was it. They didn't even show me any kind of analysis. So again, I'm not going to use that. Let's look at uh, this. So CVR. No. CVR. Let's see. Kind of. Threw some companies up there. High growth potential, stable operations, undervalued stock, underperforming the market. So again, for this company, uh, I can't even say yes to it. I can't even say no because I mean, when I search it on my phone, I could tell you. 
But um, if you want me to review the stock, I'll gladly review it again when I do have the time and I go over it over the sector. Uh, hopefully I get my information from my phone again uh, sooner rather than later. One of these, one of these um, times when I do the video. So again, um, if you want to watch listed and pay attention to it, you can do that. But again, I'm not recommending it. I'd throw it off to the sideline. So um, yeah, again, I, that's just to take caution, I stay away from it for now. So the next one up that I have is VWTR.